it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. And uh, today, we're, it's Monday, so I'm going to take you with me on a typical Monday. Monday is usually when I get a lot of the housework done, like a lot of the cleaning of the linens, uh, the cleaning of the apartment, pretty much, and all of my like admin stuff for the channel and also the um, in-person organizing business and the virtual organizing business. Um, if you don't know about the virtual organizing business, you should. Uh, there's more information I'll put in, down in the description below. So if I can't get to you physically, but you still wanna hire me, you totally can. Uh, we'll do a little virtual organizing session, so super fun. Um, but anyway, Clover and I, are gonna have some fun today. There's a heat advisory, so we're not gonna go on a walk today. We actually went on a walk yesterday. We went, uh, my husband and I, and Clover and I went to a bunch of open houses around. We like, we just like to look around. We're not really actively looking, but we, we do like to go to open houses just to see what's out there because that's how we found our, that's how we found this place. And we have been talking about um, just needing more than one bathroom. <laughs> we, um, I love him and he is the love of my life, but I would love to have an extra toilet and sink so that if we both need the bathroom at the same time, we can work something out. And since I work from home, it would be nice to have um, an office uh, and a place for me to do my work that's sort of separate from the rest of the house. So we are sort of looking. And today, uh, we're probably gonna go to another open house, so I'll take you to that one. Uh, but first, since it's too hot to go outside, where was I? I wasn't even, I didn't even finish where I was going with that conversation. Anyway, in regards to the walking around the open houses, it was actually, it was super hot also. It was like 91 degrees, mistake, don't do it. It was bad. So there's a, actually a heat advisory today. So we're not gonna go outside, learn my lesson, over it. Uh, we're gonna go play some uh, ball in the hall while I check my email and do some editing. Are you ready? This is the best reaction of all time. Hey Clover, do you wanna play the ball in the hall? Do you want to play the ball in the hall? Yeah? Let's go play the ball in the hall! All right! Do you want to pick one or should we should pick a non-squeaky one? This one is non-squeaky. Okay, let's go. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. is super tired. I have been uh, sending out some business emails and answered some emails um, and setting up some just some fun things online and now we're gonna take Clover out to poop because he probably has to go to the bathroom now and uh, I was picking another mealybug off my plant. I have been battling uh, with mealybugs uh, with these two guys. This guy I haven't seen a bug on in a few days, so he's probably gonna go back into the collection soon, this little Shuflera. But this guy, this Ivy, he's like kind of infested. There's been, I've, at le I've pulled at least four live bugs off of it, so I've been treating it. Um, hopefully in a, f a week or so, he'll be fine, ready to go back to the collection. He's growing just fine. It doesn't seem to be like too affected by the mealy bugs, which is great, but I just don't want him to spread to the rest of my collection over there. So, uh, Quarantine, plan hospital, sorry. Hey, it's the next day. I look very greasy, um, but I've had a long day and it's hot outside. It's like 95 degrees, I'm not going out there. It's gonna, I'm gonna be greasy. Anyway, uh, just finished editing the vlog for tomorrow, so finally have a video after a week. And uh, just here, kind of chilling, getting ready to clean some stuff and maybe make some dinner. I'd like to take a moment to show you guys how bad my mosquito bite is. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but like, I am very allergic. Like, this is the bite and this is the, like, the inflammation. I have another one right here as well. So, um, I'm not, like, the biggest fan of mosquitoes. By the way, this, it's not as swollen as it was, like, two nights ago and last night, but, like, I'll wake up at, like, three in the morning and, ah! and then I'll, I, I got up to go to, um, I'm sorry, this is gross. I would get up to like get hydrocortisone cream and rub it on there and it, it does work. Like it stops the itch after, I don't know, five minutes or so, but like it's just so awful. And usually after I get those serious mosquito bites, they just, they bruise over. It's gross. I, I'm not allergic to hardly anything in life except for mosquito saliva. 
that I can't handle some, some mosquito saliva. Neither can this one. Here's my axolis in the window. She's doing okay. I'm thinking about cutting some. Something was really eating this. Like, take a look at this. Like, who was, who was eating? Who was eating you? Somebody was going to town. Look at that. Somebody was going to town, like like a caterpillar or something like was eating this at the nursery. But whatever is is not around. So hopefully. <laughs> Nothing will eat it anymore and it'll grow back and look pretty like this. These leaves, that's pretty, right? I hope the rest of them look like that and get really big. So I think I'm gonna, after it's here for a few more days, I'll pot it up into this one um, and it'll give it its proper pot, right? Don't you bite that. Linens are in the dryer. Probably gotta take care of the dirty dishes next and um, get to doing a little bit of filming for firework. That's all done. We are all, the, cl the floor is cleaned. I'm gonna sick the mop on the floor because I love having robot maids. It's the best. They do all the work I don't wanna do. And I also uh, picked out our meals for the week. We're doing meal lime. So here are all of the yummy things we're making. Um, got approved by the husband. So I will do a little um, shopping online for groceries and have them delivered when I get back, which is probably, or maybe I should have them delivered before I leave, because that'll, that'll be easier. Because um, tonight we're going to the open house and then I have to go pick up something from a client, so uh, it's pretty busy. So it's lunchtime and uh, let's get that going. Sunday morning. I'm actually in um, church this morning doing a gig, church gig, you know, singer things. And um, after that, I don't know what I'm going to do. Sunday morning, August, what's today? August 4th. So uh, news cycle this morning is not positive and uh, <laughs> having a hard time. But, you know, we like to try and look at the positive things in life, but struggling this morning so here's my work bag in case you guys are curious i got my little purse purse organizer in there what am i say what did i say purse purse got my water for singing and got my music now digital i don't have to use um an actual paper score now there it is that's what we're using and it just go like that and turn the pages pretty cool so um yeah let's get this done sleeping. Hello. Oh, watch out, watch out. In case anybody was wondering, this is my outfit for church. You know, we're looking wholesome. We're looking churchy. So uh, I'm going to get changed out of this and then I got some uh, plant stuff to do. Plant stuff. Okay, I haven't seen a single mealy bug for like a week and a half or something, and I like stopped treating this. So I'm a dummy uh, because you should just keep treating your plant because look at this guy. Like, so can I like zoom in on him? Whoever thinks I'm talking to him. Look, there he is. Well, can we? Oh, we can't really focus on him. Well, you can't see it, but. It's there, it's that white thing, and we're gonna kill it. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna kill it. Oh, 
Okay, there it is. If you're ever wondering if it's a mealybug or if it's like a like a innocent piece of perlite, they turn like red when you get them with the um, the alcohol. So we're gonna spray this plant again. Uh, you're such a problem, child. So I'm in Marblehead this morning, um, doing a consultation, and apparently there's a movie being shot here. So they've got all kinds of like Halloween decorations up, which is crazy. Yep. Look, look at this. This is crazy, huh? It's it's uh it's Halloween in August. But Marblehead's so pretty. Look at that. Super pretty. All right, back in the car, I got some coffee from uh, Mugford's. They have like dog treats in there too and like all kinds of dog stuff and collars. It was adorable, I loved it. But I just have a lot of things to do today. I have like a bunch of different appointments. So I'm hoping I can get home by 11 and then start working on stuff, take Clover out to the park, do that stuff, maybe have a little lunch and then uh, try to finish up. But I will show you guys a little bit more of Marblehead because I think it's absolutely gorgeous here. If you've ever wondered what New England looks like uh, outside of Boston, it's some parts of it are just gorgeous and Marblehead is one of the most beautiful places. Uh, it's not very far outside of Boston but it's just like stunning and it's quaint and just so New Englandy. I love it. Like can we just talk about like look at this. This is so cute. I love Marblehead. It's just so pretty. So pretty! drive was nice. I'm uh, gonna take Clover for a nice uh, little session at the park so he can get nice and tired because I have to leave again in the afternoon. Fun. Um, but uh, it's super nice outside so we're gonna go have some fun at the park. Hey guys, good morning. It is Friday morning and I am on my way to my voice lesson that I take uh, usually once a month with my teacher. So just I'll check in to see how the voice is doing, which is probably not that great because I haven't been singing that much except for in church. Um, so we're a little bit out of practice, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to get in shape for the fall season. So, um, see you there. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. I didn't tape anything for my, from my voice lesson, but you guys have seen my voice lessons before. If you have not, I will put a playlist up above so you can see what that's like. Um, she, uh, basically has to talk me down from the ledge every time I go and have a voice lesson. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, so hopefully some good things will be happening in the fall for me as far as auditioning and opera is concerned. Uh, I, I am not a proactive person when it comes to that part of my career. I have a little bit of, well, you guys know about the imposter syndrome and all that stuff. So I'm hoping we're going to get past that in the next few months and um, make some stuff happen so I get some more interesting content for you guys uh, for the singing part of this channel. Anyway, it's about uh, 11 o'clock and Clover and I have just come back from the dog park. He is one exhausted little pup. Are you tired? Did you have a good time? Yes, you did. He was playing and he, his, his, he ran into his little best friend there, Colin. So he is one happy little guy. So I haven't done my morning uh, plant 
like routine yet. So in case you guys are wondering what I do every morning with my plants, well not every morning, I do this like once a week. I go and I clean the leaves and I check to make sure everyone's free of bugs. I have been battling the mealybug scale bugs for the last three weeks. And um, I, th I think I have eliminated them or at least significantly reduced the number of them. I haven't found any for a few days, so um, fingers crossed. Uh, I had some huge, I had huge problems with, with I was finding single numbers of, of mealybugs on various plants. So I am hoping that I, it's, it's under control right now. If you are a plant mom, you know, you know the deal. Like it's very annoying. Bugs are very annoying. I also have so a little bit, a few fungus gnats in here, so I might just sprinkle some cinnamon on the soil this morning. Um, but here is my uh, plant cleaning and watering routine for Saturday. First, I'm gonna make some coffee, and uh, yeah, more coffee makes this a lot more fun. <laughs> We are all watered, cleaned, everything is looking beautiful and bug free. We've got the humidifier going. I'm gonna have to get another like larger one because I have to fill this one too much, too often. Um, but these guys are loving it, so I'm just gonna keep them going for now. So I've got a little collection of calatheas here. Look, 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 new leaf, new leaf. Um, so they are very happy and I've, oh my gosh, I was so excited to get this beautiful Calathea orbifolia from the my local nursery. It was like in a corner, shoved in a corner. It had all these like browned edges because I guess it was not getting enough humidity. Actually, I think these are mainly from uh, not getting distilled water or filtered water. Uh, these guys are really sensitive to like the minerals in tap water. So um, I, I took it home because these things are, are hard to find but these, they have the most beautiful like candy cane striped round leaves and I just, oh, she's so fabulous. And um, I put her in this really pretty cash pot. So um, I am appreciating her beauty every day. And this is my little Calathea corner looking really good. Gotta keep the humidity above 50%. <laughs> um, everything here looking beautiful. Um, so I'm just really happy with the way that they're looking. I enjoy them a lot, a lot more when there are no pests, <laughs> when I'm not fighting with pests. Oh, and if any of you are curious, and you know, a plant fanatic like me, I found at my local nursery, a Raphidophora tetrasperma. This is a really baby, baby one. The leaves are a little bit of a different shape than I was expecting, but as you can see there, some of them are starting to get fenestrated. And um, this is gonna be, I'm so excited about her. Um, it was like $40, but I, couldn't resist. I walked into the shop and I was like, how do you have these? They're like, yes, this is our secret stash. So they had like eight of them and I grabbed it and took it home, repotted it. I don't normally do that, but she was like, she just needed it. So, um, so far she seems to be pretty happy. Uh, they call this a sort of like mini, mini Monstera. So it's going to look like, like that, but it's going to be a lot smaller. So I'm very excited about her. Oh my gosh. Is this turning into a plant channel? It's not, I promise. your eyes closed and now they're open are you fighting the nap are you fighting the nap I know you're tired you got to take a nap buddy oh my gosh he was out fetching for so long he was having a great time buddy let's kind of go to sleep huh 
So I thought I would check in really quickly at the end of this video to uh, just talk to you guys about a few things. So um, I don't know if anyone has noticed, but I have been publishing videos a lot less frequently. Um, I normally, I, I had a routine where I was publishing three times a week, um, but lately I've been sort of doing an experiment to letting some of my content breathe and, you know, um, and sort of perform before I post another video. So um, just, uh, hold on while I just finish up this experiment and see what's sort of best for the channel. So over the next few months, weeks, uh, some things are going to be uh, getting a little insane here. Uh, I, I don't want to say too much, but definitely uh, we need to declutter as much as we can <laughs> over the next couple of months. So um, I will be doing a massive, massive job on sort of minimizing what's going on in here. Not that there's a lot of stuff, um, but in some aspects, especially now that I am really obsessing over the houseplant thing, I need to like reduce <laughs> some of the other things that I was, you know, obsessing over before. So uh, I think the first thing I'm going to reduce is the beauty stuff. I did do a clothing declutter, which I will publish to the channel. Um, I don't know if it's going to be before this video or after this video, but I, I did a massive declutter. I think I might do, do a round two just because I, I just... I just need to get it down to a reasonable amount for me uh, because I can't focus on, you know, too many things. It's t it gets a little crazy. Uh, but I thank you guys for your patience during this kind of wacky time. Um, but it's an exciting time and opera is about to start again. Singing is about to get crazy. So stay tuned for that. And um, I can't wait to take you guys on the adventures for the next few months. I, I actually, I can't wait. And before I go, I wanted to give you guys an update on the uh, imposter syndrome thing. I think I talked about that a few months ago um, in regards to sort of feeling like a phony or feeling like fake or, you know, uh, just sort of battling with a lifetime of sort of self negative talk and how that's affected my career and how I feel about it. Uh, I have been in talking with someone um, in talk therapy for, uh, you know, I, maybe three months now maybe three months four months I don't remember uh, but it's been a few months and I've been sort of working through it and I'm going to tell you that it's better but I, I still battle with it like I the the talk therapy and stuff has made me aware of a lot of the things that I'm saying to myself and so every time I have sort of those negative self-talk or like the negative self thoughts. I am very aware of it and I sort of acknowledge it. I don't, I try not to judge myself for it because that gets into a cycle too where I would feel bad about saying something about myself that I felt bad about and then I would feel bad about feeling bad about feeling, you know, it was a whole thing. But I can tell you with certainty that I have gotten a little better about it. Like I do acknowledge that some of the things that I'm saying to myself are are not true <laughs> or they just are unreasonable like I have a lot of thoughts about what other people think about me and a lot of the time I have to keep reminding myself this because I tell people this all the time ironically I don't follow my own advice is that a lot of people don't care about you <laughs> like like people in your real life like if you're out having a conversation with other people and you're look, looking around those people over there that are having their own conversation they often don't care and they're trying to think about their own stuff so I've tried to think about that more especially in singing situations where like other performers are trying to perform and maybe you stepped out and performed they don't really care about you they're thinking about their own performance I mean it's most of the time that's really true so that's my progress with that uh it is an ongoing um i don't want to use the word battle i want to use the word journey it's an ongoing journey in sort of dealing with it i was told that these thoughts don't really go away that that you just sort of cope and so we're learning to cope and first step is um I'm gonna put myself out there more musically. I haven't gone on an audition, audition, in a while and remember the last time I went, I had a really traumatizing experience. So that is something I wanna to work towards and see what I can do. But, so with that, 
I, I just wanted to talk to you guys because I feel like a lot of this is like really snippets of my life. Uh, but anyway, I hope you're having a great morning, great evening, great afternoon, wherever you are. And I'll see you next time. You are enough. You're awesome. You're loved. You can do it. <laughs> this is so cheesy. I am a cheesy person. What you see in front of the camera is me, like most of the time. I have my bad days where I get like all angry and and I have road rage too, but um, I mostly want to see the world through my naive rose colored color glasses. And I wanna spread a little bit of positivity before I leave this earth. So I hope you guys, again, are having a good evening or afternoon or morning, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.